Always start by carefully reading the question. The first part asks how much effective nuclear charge the 4s electron of potassium would feel if the core electrons of potassium were 100% effective at screening. Effective nuclear charge is a measure of how much positive charge from the nucleus the valence electrons are exposed to. If there are core electrons between the nucleus and the valence electrons, they will shield the valence electrons from some of the nuclear charge. Part B tells us what the effective nuclear charge was found to be experimentally, and asks us to explain why our answer in Part A is different. Before we jump into solving the problem, let's plan our approach. You should know that the effective nuclear charge, or Z effective, can be calculated by subtracting the number of core electrons from the nuclear charge, Z. The number of core electrons will be the number of electrons that are not in the valence or outermost shell of the atom, and the nuclear charge is always the same as the element's atomic number. Remember, atomic number tells you how many protons are in the nucleus. Both atomic number and number of core electrons can be determined by looking at potassium on the periodic table. Once we've found a value for part A, we should have a better idea how to answer part B. If you really know your stuff, you might be able to guess that part B is trying to get at the fact that the core electrons really aren't as effective at screening as part A suggests. But for now, let's move on to solving part A. Looking at potassium on the periodic table, we see that the atomic number is 19, and therefore the nuclear charge is 19. And since potassium is in the first column on the periodic table, all its electrons are core electrons except the one electron in the 4s orbital. That makes 18 core electrons. So Z effective is 19 minus 18, which equals 1. Now for part B. Our answer in part A says that the 4s electron in potassium only feels a nuclear charge of 1, but part B tells us it really experiences a nuclear charge of 3.5, so the valence electron actually feels more of the nuclear charge than we calculated. How can we explain this? Well, the core electrons are not 100% effective at screening. The 4s electron of potassium actually has a small probability of being found closer to the nucleus than the core electrons. Check that you've answered everything you were asked, and we're done.